Yo, yo, get it done, dumpster rental and junk removal at your service. Uh, I'm bringing this video today because a lot of people have been asking me how do I unload my trailers. I done got a few comments on that and I hadn't really got around to showing them. I have told them about it, but I ain't showed them yet. So as y'all know, the way my trailers are, I don't have dumpster trailers. So I use regular box trailers such as that. Those are my trailers. I build them out myself out of regular flatbed trailers. Which means unloading it has to be all on me. So either I'm dumping it by hand or I created a system or pallet system, which many dump junk removal people know about. It's a pretty popular thing now. Uh, hadn't been around a long, long time, I don't think, but that's what I started doing. And I'm fixing to show y'all today how I unload my trailers. So what I'm gonna do today is show you how I unload my trailers with the pallet system. So this is my pallet system. So that's pretty much what I use. And those are the best pallets, the, the all wood look ones, you know, just a regular brown pallets. Those are iffy, you might get a good one, you might not, but anytime you see red ones or blue ones, that means they're heavy duty, really sturdy. So that's the ones I tend to get and keep. I got three of those and I've been using them for a while. So all I do is I get the pallet, I rig up these little straps that go around the pallet. Make sure you don't go around just this board right here. Cause if you just go around here, it's gonna just pull that board off. You gotta go around the support. You see how it's got this four by four post inside. I go under here, around, behind it. So I'm pulling all of this. I'm pulling all of this right here. So. This cable is wrapped around all that, and the same at the bottom. It's wrapped all the way around the back, around all of it. And these are just two cables that I made. You know, I went to the store, I bought the little pieces, and I, you know, cut it to the length I wanted. And that's how I did the straps. So now you just get another cable, and you hook it to that. You want to run one of them out the back of the trailer. Hi, little mama, that's the kitty cat. But I run one out the back. And what you do is just tuck it, tuck it inside, curve it around, you know, and leave it outside. You can kick that up underneath, you know, out of the way. And you tell your customers, do not remove this strap, this cable. Just throw everything on top. Just tell them, throw everything on top, leave it just like that, right down the middle. The top one, you can just throw over the top. So as you can see, I just threw it on the ground. Just throw it, you tuck it up underneath but you just throw it up under the ground. Now when it comes time for you to dump the trailer, you're gonna take that one, bring it over the top of the trash and just run it along the top of the trash and out the back. Uh, so at that point, you're gonna get your cable that's under the trailer, you're gonna bring it out, bring it out, drop it there, get your one over the top, bring it out, lay it down with this one, then I got another strap that I put, I hook these two. I hook this to a strap, I hook the other one to a strap, and then I run that one out to a dumpster. I mean, not to a dumpster, to the tractor. I take both of them, tie them together to a strap, run the strap out to the tractor, and out at the landfills, there's gonna be a couple of tractors pushing stuff, moving stuff around. All you gotta do is say, hey, hey, I got one. You know, just raise your hand, they know what you want. And they'll pull over with the tractor, you hook it on the back of the tractor and the tractor's gonna pull everything out the trailer. If you got everything real sturdy like this and, and mounted good, it's you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. It's gonna pull everything out the trailer and save you about 30, 40 minutes, maybe even an hour's worth of time, depending on what's on your trailer. If you got a lot of trash on your trailer, sometimes people just clean it out the garage and they just throw stuff. They just throw every little bitty piece of trash box bottle tops bottles cans everything bubble gum cigarette wrappers they just throw it in the trailer instead of bagging it up they throw it in the trailer that makes it take a long time to unload because you got to pick out each and every piece of them little bitty piece of trash and throw it out the trailer ain't nobody got time for that you know that's why when i do junk removals 
I bring bags and I bag everything up that way when I get to the landfill. If I got to do it by hand, it's going to be real quick and easy. Just throw a bunch of bags out the trailer and I'm out of there. But when you got a lot of trash, individual trash or limbs, leaves, debris, yeah, you want to use the pallet system because that's going to pull everything off and you just, it's just going to leave you with a little bit of debris left in the trailer, which if you bring a blower, I, I, right now I bring a blower. I used to bring a broom, a push broom, and I just sweep everything out the trailer. But now I've upgraded to a blower. I, I get a blower with me, and once I get everything, the big stuff out the trailer, I turn that blower on, blow everything out the back of the trailer, close my gates, and I'm out of there in five, ten minutes. Yeah, five, ten minutes. After that, that tractor pulls your stuff out, five, ten minutes, you gone. You back, you, you on to the next job. So that's the way... That's the way I unload my trailers. Sometimes, yeah, I still do it by hand, depending on what the load is. If I know what the load is gonna be, and it's gonna be a lot of big stuff like dresses, mattresses, beds. Yeah, I'ma just, just go chunk that off because it's still gonna take me five, 10 minutes to push dressers and refrigerators and, and mattresses, stuff like that, couches. I can flip that out the trailer real quick and easy and I'm out of there. So that's, that's how I do it. And next up, I'm going to show you an actual video footage of two of my dumps that I did back to back using the pallet system. What made the second load so good is the second load, I didn't have the pallet system installed. It was, it was just, they just, I just brought the trailer and dropped it off without the pallet system in it. But the way they happened to have loaded it, they put a mattress in the front and then piled everything else in the back of the trailer. I was able to get the, pallet and wedge it in between the mattress and the trailer i wedged the, the pallet down in between the, the back of the trailer or front of the trailer and the mattress and pushed it down i got the cables hooked them on and i ran them down the sides down each side i ran the, the cables down and it was good enough when i got to the landfill i hooked up to the tractor and pulled everything out the trailer and i was like wow i didn't even have it in there at the time i put it on after it was full and still work like a charm so yeah but i'm fixing to show you a couple of videos of me and my daughter that's my helper and uh show them how we do it how, how long it takes for us to get to the landfill and unload so i'm loving all the subscribers i've been getting i'm loving your messages uh the love i'm loving being out at the landfill and people are running up to me saying hey you're getting done dump through on hey i followed you hey i subscribed to your channel i love it I love it. It, it just it made me feel something like a celebrity, you know what I'm saying? But keep coming with the likes, the subscribe, the shares, ringing the notification bell because you don't want to miss all my videos. I, I, I make sure I give y'all content you can use. A lot of guys get on here and just talk. They say the same thing over and over and over and over. I don't like to do that. I like to give you something you can use in each one of my videos so you always have something. Whatever question you got, you can go to a video and find that out. So this is one of the questions that I hadn't answered yet or I hadn't shown it yet. So here you go. All right, so I'm out at the landfill, making those loads. What I'm about to show y'all is how the pallet system works. That's the pallet, the pallet right there. I got it rigged with cables. There's cables on here on the top and the bottom. One's running along the top, one's running underneath all the stuff down at the bottom. So what we do is when we get here, we uh, flag down the tractor, get my two cables right there, and my baby girl, I'm gonna help them. And we're gonna hook those two cables to the tractor, and the tractor's gonna pull all of that out of here with that one pallet. That avoids you from having to do all this by hand. So I'm gonna video it being actually being happened. I'm gonna get back to you in a minute. Video gonna stop, and uh, show y'all what it looked like while it's pulling out. All right, y'all, this is how it's done. This is how you do it. What's up, bro? Yeah. That avoids you from doing all that manual labor. So, yeah. That's what, that's what happens when you put that pallet system in here. Now that's all we gotta clean. I took got my pallet back out. All we gotta do is throw this little bit of stuff out. And we out of here. Right, sure? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
seven, eight minutes of work. Seven, eight minutes of work. When it would have took us about 35, 40 minutes to unload it by hand. But yeah, that's how you do it. I don't know if this one's gonna work because I put the pallet in after everything was on. But yeah, but it's working like a charm. Yeah. Your pallet. Yeah. All right. Get it done, Dumpster Runner, at your service.